what we're looking for in a winning team in the Nestle Gold Chef Sat is basically perfection. The economic viability of the products that they put out today. They're going to have to work like well-oiled machines. A team that's organised and well-practised stands out pretty easily. A couple of the teams have got a lot on the plate. It's got to be something that's restaurant quality. Um, time frame they're going to be pushing it. And the techniques, the practical cookery skills that they apply. And if they achieve what they've actually written down, it's going to be a really close competition. Um, we didn't make too many mistakes and we're happy with what we did. I reckon we got a pretty good chance. Uh, we did pretty good. It's just part of comp. I mean, what, what happens on the day, it's, that's, that's why it's competition. Not, not getting frustrated or really nervous. Getting everything out on time, looking how we wanted it. I think practice. I think always for your competition when you come in for the first time, something's going to go wrong. Having backup plans as well helps. Yeah. And like everyone's put up good food today and it's just a guessing game now. I think we'll do alright. A couple of hiccups with dessert, but everything got put on the plate and we were very happy with it. I think everyone put up beautiful looking food. It's going to be a very tight competition this year. We showed some good techniques. We got good it's practicing. Tasting. It tasted good. Awesome, but stressful, I would say. Pretty happy. It's all preparation, so, you know, fail to, fail to plan, plan to fail. It's good to know that the rivalry is definitely friendly. The experience has been amazing, I think, for me. <laughs>